Do you think that writing a book is more or less stressful than being on TV? It's less stressful, but it's much harder work than I thought it would be. It's less stressful because you can actually, you can pick your own time. If something's driving you mad and, you know, it's not working out, and, you know, the idea that you had isn't kind of proving to be as, uh, as good as you thought, well, then you can stop, have a cup of tea, um, have a think, go for a walk, and then come back. Whereas on live telly, obviously, you can't do that. If you're interviewing somebody on live television and the interview is not going very well and the interview is not very forthcoming, you can't just say, oh, well, bye, I'll just go for a quick walk and see you again in 10 minutes. You can't do that. And um, your friend, Karen Keating, died when she was 41. How much of the book is sort of inspired by her death and her life? The mood was, when I started, was, you know, inspired by Karen's death. But as I carried on writing it, it, it was, I wanted it to be a thriller. I wanted it to be, um, Kathy, the main character, is, uh, she's not, um, she had a history of uh, mental um, depression. She'd had a nervous breakdown, etc., etc. So when she starts experiencing these strange messages, she's not quite sure whether to be, believe even herself. Um, and she's married to a psychiatrist um, who's kind of already nursed her through a nervous breakdown. And when she tries to tell him what she's experiencing, he just doesn't believe her. And that's the whole thing. Nobody believes her. And that makes her doubt even herself. And there is quite a lot of suppression in the novel. Is that something that you fear? I think I have had postnatal depression in the, in the past. And so I know what it's like um, to be depressed. And I know the kind of feelings it inspires in you and the doubts and insecurity it inspires in you. So um, I, I was kind of quite comfortable writing about that aspect of Cathy. Is that something that you've left behind now? Yeah, 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 yeah. It was, it's, it was horrible. I mean, it was after my last child was born, but she's 25 now, so it's a long, long time in the past. But I think possibly once you have experienced serious depression, um, clinical depression, you don't really forget what it's like, and you can sympathise very easily with other people and empathise very easily with other people who are going through it. And your husband, Richard, he sort of describes you as his heart and that without you, he'd be nothing. Um, have you helped each other? A long time ago, <laughs> but still. <laughs> have you helped each other write your novels at home? Um, we've certainly uh, talked to each other a lot, and, and Richard's helped me a lot. I mean, if I was stuck, I would just sit. We would sit and discuss plot and uh, and motives and stuff for ages. Yes, so he was a hugely important sounding board uh, to me. I hope I am to him. He's, uh, he's writing a novel at the moment, which he's almost finished, and I hope I've been a sounding board to him. And, I mean, your whole career has been sort of based, well, the last sort of 10 years on book reviewing. Does it taught you what makes a very good read, and do you think you sort of put that into Eloise? Well, yes. I mean, I think if you read an awful lot, and we do read an awful lot, we, we read for the book club, but also, I, you know, I've always been a... Uh, a, a prolific reader I, you know I did English literature at university and I've always read and it's always been my major hobby it's still strange to put pen to paper and um, and sort of try and turn out a book which at the very least you know you'd want to read and what kind of subjects would you like to write your novels on in the future oh god I don't know I mean I'd still like the, the, the genres I'm attracted to are still I do like uh, the sort of if you like slightly supernatural stuff I love Stephen King for example I love his novels um, so I'm quite drawn to that and I'm also as, as, as I said very drawn to uh, to crime fiction so I don't know it'll be a kind of mixture I suppose but I'm not going to think about it for a couple of months I'm just going to kind of um let my head relax.